should I whip up today? That is a great idea! Lindley! Lindley! What is Lindley making? Beef raisin wine. Hey, Tatsu. Why don't you relax and take a bath before dinner? Got one all ready for you. Uh, Tatsu loved nice and hot bath before eating. Ah, did Lindley use bath salts? Color and smell is lovely, just like it. Ah, Lindley, this is not bathtub. This is part of boiling wine. Little spud's smarter than he looks. I suppose I'm just gonna have to use regular old beef instead. Lily is not funny! Lily is not funny! Okay, everyone, let's eat! I can't get over your cooking, Lynn. That was delicious. Thanks, Gwyn. Glad you liked it. I hope it was enough. If I'd known we were expecting company, I definitely would have made more. Yes, yes! Then maybe Tatsu could eat full portion! <laughs> Sorry, Pint Size. What Gwyn lacks in stature, he more than makes up for with his monstrous appetite. He's kind of a pig. Okay, first of all, I'm taller than you. And second, you just ate almost double what I did. Who's the pig here? I'm assuming you didn't just come here to argue. What's going on? So, we had this extermination order up around the northern coast. Some violent indigens that got a little too touchy-feely. Apparently banged up a few outfitters. Pretty standard stuff. We're all prepped and about to head out, and then bam! Another job comes in from Commander Tank Top. I mean, I know we're the best and all, but seriously. Sounds rough. All right, you take the indigents, and we'll take Vandom's job. Thank you, Colonel. Let me walk you through the intel. These images I'm about to show you are from a probe in Oblivia. Is that a ship of some sort? Can't really tell from that distance. It's hard to grasp the scale with such long-range images. Whatever it is, it's getting hammered. Friends must do something to help poor ship. Tatsu will not stand for this injustice. Says the one guy who never actually fights it. It's difficult to say for sure from this, but that craft on the right, I bet it's ganglion. It shares aspects of their mech design. Our thoughts exactly. The assignment is to get there and confirm one way or another. We don't know who built the ship that's under attack, but as the commander so elegantly put it, our enemy's enemies might be our paths. I'm inclined to agree. We're gonna settle here on Mira. We'll need all the friends we can get. That's for sure. All right, thanks for the info. We'll take it from here. Thank you, Colonel. Welcome to Sandy Bum Canyon. A.K.A. Oblivia. Huh? Olivia? Friends really name it that? You know I said Oblivia. Uh, Lindley, listen to Tatsu. This place always have sandstorms. Sands get everywhere. Therefore, Sandy Bum Canyon. No pun ancestors name it just fine ages ago. Or does Lindley think she better name her than native Mirin peoples? What? I... no. Good. Tatsu accept Lindley apology and forgive. This time. <sighs> Strange. There's nothing here. It was hard to tell the scale of it from the grainy images. That ship should have at least been big enough to spot from here. Hmm, yeah. 
Huh? Elma, look! Another new Xeno species. Hang on. Maybe I can pick up what they're saying. Impossible! I'm telling you, just us is impossible, okay? Stop talking like that, would you? We have to do this, right? For everyone back on the ship. But, but, but how are we supposed to destroy the turrets? This place is likely crawling with ganglion, no? So they're not ganglion, at least. Yeah. It sounded like they're fighting against them to me. Friends, friends, Tatsu knows those are Manon. Manon appeared on Mira maybe year before friends? Hmm. I know that sound. What is it, Alma? Just Tatsu, the Ganglion, and now these Manon. Don't you find it a little odd that we can understand these alien languages? Hmm. Good point. I doubt it. Tatsu, did you study our language? The friend's language? What language are we speaking right now? What language? No pun, of course. Friends, no pun. Very good, by the way. See? Xenoforms have different anatomy, physiology, different vocal setups in general. It seems likely they would struggle with our pronunciations. And yet here we are, conversing. But if they can't even produce the sounds, well, this shouldn't be possible. No, it shouldn't be. Unless, our words aren't being perceived as sounds at all. Maybe our intent is getting across some other way. But how? Could it be something about this planet? <laughs> Someone sounds pretty intrigued, huh? Well, what if it is some kind of new phenomenon? Aren't you curious to learn more? Alright, now you're starting to sound just like Elle. Okay already. Friends talk less, help Manon more. After all, Tatsu have reputation as hero pawn to uphold here. Sure. Right after a quick snack. <laughs> I'm not sure how much we can help, but we should at least make contact. Agreed? Um, hey, is everything all right? Relax, Tatsu here to help. No! More aliens! Hey, look, they've got food, too! No pun takeout yet! Blech. Tatsu is not takeout or food. Humans are personnel to assist Tatsu. Personnel? No, Tatsu mean personnel favorites. <laughs> Humans are not working with the ganglion? Sorry for the scare. We're from a planet called Earth. The ganglion are enemies to us as well. Enemies, you say? That means you're friends to the Manon, yes? We are Manon, you know. Ours is an advanced civilization. You can tell, right? The ganglion desire our technology. But Earth human heroes have come to save us, right? I'm right, right? I hope so. Why don't one of you tell us what happened? Oh, oh, okay, I got this one. Let me answer this one, okay? So this is where we are now, right? Our ship is fighting and I think her boss. Then the fog and stuff, you follow? But the game we are not surrounded by the aircraft turrets, you see? Okay, so in other words... If we can destroy their weapons, your ship can escape. Exactly! They have three turrets set up around the area. You see them now? We need you to destroy them all, okay? Please? Got it. We don't want the ganglion controlling the airspace here any more than you do. We'd be happy to help out. You mean it? You'll help us? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Two to go. Let's move. Number two goes boom! Just one more left. Right, that's the third.
third one. That should be all of them. The Manon will be thrilled. Let's head back and meet up with them. Huh. No sign of the Manon anywhere. Where would they go? Maybe back to their ship? Friends, look! Over there! Boom booms! Let's check it out. Victory! 
ี้Anything about your body being a mimeosome, do you? He's losing his biocirculatory plasma. I can't fix this here. Elma, I need you to contact the mimeosome maintenance center for me. Ask them to have a type 085 left arm and transfusion ready ASAP. You got it. I'm going to have to take you offline for a bit here, okay? We'll resuscitate you back in New L.A. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. I promise, okay? Welcome back. So, how's that new left arm feeling? Man, what a relief. You're lucky Lynn was with us. If she hadn't acted as fast as she did, you might have bled out entirely. We could have lost your whole unit. Oh, it was nothing. Before we go any further, I wanted to apologize. I should have realized you might have forgotten about this, but... As you probably noticed, the body you're inhabiting is artificial. We call them mimeosomes. Mims for short. Mimeosomes are designed to mimic human physiology as much as possible. The whole point is for us to forget about them. That way, we can still enjoy the things we love, like cooking. We're all like this. Every single crew member that escaped on the White Whale. All of us are Mims. But why would friends all become robots? Well, just think about it. It could have taken decades to find a new planet to call home, or even centuries. We had no idea. Who would want to crew the ship if they knew they were going to grow old or die along the way? Hmm, Tatsu see Linley Point. Our actual bodies are waiting in the life hold, in stasis with all the human passengers. We control our mimeosomes remotely from there. So you see, 
That's why it's so important for us to find and protect the life hold. Our lives are on the line here, too. If the life hold were to stop functioning for any reason while we're still there in stasis, everyone, including every Mim in New LA, would drop dead on the spot. That reminds me, something else you should know. It's possible for us to switch to another Mimusome if these bodies fail or become too badly damaged. But the process requires equipment from the Lifehold Core, the central unit of the whole operation. Meh meh! So what if Gangly and her big beastie smash friends' robot Mims? We wouldn't be able to come back yet. For now, we need to consider these Mims as precious as we would our real, actual bodies. Don't get reckless out there just because you're in a Mimusome. That's an order, you hear? One last thing, and I need to trust you all to keep this quiet. It's sensitive info, so HQ has only been telling team leaders about it. We can't have a panic on our hands. The readout on Blade Tower. Have you seen it? It's not some kind of special clock or anything like that. It's a countdown. Big number counts down to what? Life hold shutting down. What? The life hold lost its power source when we lost the White Whale. It's been running on backup ever since. We need to locate the life hold and get a power source in place by the time that percentage reaches zero. And if we don't? These bodies will no longer sustain us. We'll die. Not just die, Lynn. Die out. It would mean the end of the human race as we know it. The end of everything. Well, on that cheerful note... Okay, Rook. You good to go? Then let's report back to HQ. I'm sure the commander will want to hear about this himself. Right. Welcome back. Your floppy friends here filled me in on everything. You did good. Just watch yourself out there, Big Shot. You're still new at this, and we can't afford to lose you. We only got so many spare parts to go around. You mean better, are we? Took a nasty hit, no? He'll be fine. I patched him up myself. That's great, isn't it? We were worried sick, you know? We're still new in town, so we don't have many other friends here yet. Wait, then Manon will live here too? Correct. The NLA government has reached an accord with the Manon people. A friendship treaty. It guarantees their safety and provides them a place to settle here in the city. That's great to hear, Mr. I wasn't sure how you'd react. Hmm. We don't need to be from the same species to be able to recognize our common ground. Someone told me that once. <laughs> that was a lifetime ago. That's quite a memory you have. A blessing and a curse, believe me. So, you're all stuck here too, right? We were just cruising along out in space, you know? And suddenly... Our math system goes all screwy, and we find ourselves here. Which is pretty weird, considering our tech is far more advanced than anything Samar's got. You saw how bad they wanted it, yeah? Samar? I thought it was the ganglion that attacked you. You don't know about Samar? Seriously? As in the Interstellar Federation, Samar? I mean, they only rule over a radius of six million light years or so of space. Six million? But that would span multiple galaxies. Well, yeah. spirit of our agreement, we'd appreciate any intelligence you'd be willing to share. Of course, of course.